episode 3 of Daring Dark's Cheat Tutorial. This week we're going to be checking out Breakpoints. Breakpoints and ASM for both Super Nintendo and PC. Now, first question here is, what are Breakpoints? Basically, they're kind of like watchdogs, or maybe a bucket of paint you put above your door when your little sister is stealing candy in your room. What does it do? Well, the instant your little sister opens the door, the bucket of paint falls on her, letting you know that, like, basically catching her red-headed. So, we're going to check real quick to see what breakpoints do. I'm just going to pause this and change over to the PC demonstration of the ASM, which means assembler. Alright, here we have Chia Engine. We're going to be hacking the game Minesweeper with it. I know you're all thinking, this is boring, wow. But what we're going to do is much more interesting. We're not just going to change values, we are physically going to affect the game's code. So here we have, for example, 10. Okay. Usually their stuff is in either 1 or 2 bytes. Let's search 10. First scan, 427 values. We're going to put one down. That's 9. This gets down pretty fast. Don't worry. It's not going to take a lot of time. There you go. Right here. Next, we're gonna, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what a breakpoint is. Sadly, Chi Engine cannot do uh, game-stopping breakpoints with reads and writes. Reads and writes are, for example, your value, which here is 9, at, di at the address of 01005194. It's, at all times, it's always being read, and once in a while, whenever it's affected, whenever it changes, it's being written to. So, if we find what's writing to it, we know exactly what to change and modify it so that you can actually either have it not move at all, only move up, only move down, do whatever you want. Since they don't have a stopper, what they have is find out, which means, here for example, find out what access this address, find out what writes to it, find out what, what uh, reads, what we're going to use, what writes. This will attach a debugger, yes. Now, let's go back to the game, because there's nothing here right now, so we got to change something in the game. I'm going to stick another one of these, and already a little, like something wrote to our address. You can see it right here. It added. So, we're going to sh show this assembler, and it's written right here. This adds EAX to our address. EAX right now is 0, which basically, well, which basically just means it's reducing our thing by 1. So what we're going to do, double click it, or no, actually better yet, just right click it, and replace it with a code that does nothing. It will tell you, here, just change, just, just change it to all to not, which means no operation. This is what you put in when you don't, when you just don't want it to do anything. Now that it's not, let's see what it does. And I remind you, I did not freeze anything yet. Look at that! I'm sticking flags everywhere, and the number is just not going down. Now we're gonna have fun. Gotta stab something. Gotta hit a mine somewhere. There we go. New search. Eleven. First scan. Back to the Minesweeper game. Click on the head. Start tapping everywhere. Bombs right here. Two. We're going to check what's going down to two. And scan. And we found it. Luckily, Minesweeper is a very small game, so codes are pretty easy to find. Let's find out what. Okay, find out what writes to it. Play. Turn. Already, since this, the clock started, we had this. Show it. Dress. So we replace it with code that does nothing. Mop everything. Go back to Minesweepers. What has it done? Let's start. Oh, 
One second. That's what was bugging me earlier. Implement. Replace with uh, something that does nothing. You can do it right from here, just letting you know. This one as well. Now, as you can see, the clock's been frozen. It just doesn't respond to anything. Now, if I had just selected this one and knocked it, the clock would go back to zero, but it just wouldn't go up past one. Alright, that's enough knowledge right now for, well, the next code I'll be needing to teach you later on. Now we're going to go off to Super Nintendo. This is Geiger's SNES 9X. It's a special SNES program. Yes, here we have Mega Man, which is designed for game hacking specifically. So what are we going to do? Raise this up. This is our hacking menu. Unlike uh, Chi Engine, it's not that sophisticated. It's much more like demand something and it will appear, but you can't actually view things unless you're using this, and that's quite run down. Now, just going to show you, Mega Man runs, and Mega Man will get hit by an object and we'll be able to watch his power bar go down. His power bar went down. Currently my cheats are on. Power bar is on, but because even if it's frozen, the game still reads it fast enough to see the power go down. So what we're going to do is Type in CEOB7F into breakpoints. Remember that bucket of paint that's going to fall on your sister's head? Right here. 7E0BCF. We're going to put it as a write. This allows us to know exactly what writes to that address so we can knock it. Let's click. The game stopped. It froze. This is simple because it just told us what affected it. It's 849D54. With these three, these three address, they store A, which is the accumulator, here. Accumulators are like registers, what I showed you earlier. They, they're like memory, only about a million times faster. It's where the game sticks numbers when they're not, well, while they're calculating them. Same thing with X and Y, except those can't do math. So this stores A, which is D, into my address, which is, no, this one. <laughs> Alright, we're going to knock this one. Then we're going to knock this address, and I'm going to show you what this does. Okay, to knock it, you just select it, 954. Four. And the second one is where it goes off to. So, so eight, nine, e, fifty. That should do it. This is a nice, solid number. Now, to knock in Super Nintendo, you need to do EA. If you can't remember, just think of EA Games, this little store, or not the store, like the video game company. It's a good way to remember it. It's how I do it. EA. EA. The reason I just did it three times is because the code right here, as you see it, has three numbers. If you only knock one number and the other two stay, it's going to freeze your game. Now, we're going to get back into the game. Oops. You also have to turn off the breakpoints. If not, it's just going to keep reading the same incident over and over again. Run. Now, I can hit him over and over again, doesn't matter, and my power bar stays the same. This is what breakpoints do. They allow you to find the game code that affects a memory and modify it. Now that Super Nintendo has been covered, there are also different ASM formats for different systems or even older computers, but that's about it for, like, that's all you'll need when you're following my tutorials, at least for the next code. The next code will be Walking Through Walls by, by Brickerstop. Thank you very much. Enjoy your cheats.